players at Blacklisted a couple weeks back. Um, I believe defeating... Oh no, I think he had a close uh, close game five set maybe with Envy, uh, New Jersey player. Um, but we're, let's get right into it. Um, these are these are really strong. This is really strong stage for both these characters. Um, Ike loves it, I think, for quick draw and for the follow ups he gets off of it. Um, and uh, Lucas, I think, really uh, really enjoys these horizontal combos. That was a sick dunk. Um, and the short ce the low, low ceiling is great for Lucas as well. Um, not to mention PK Free is going to be really effective on a flat stage like this. Oh, just barely clips him. He's so consistent with uh, magnet to back air, or really magnet to anything. Like no other Lucas player like can confirm that consistently. Yup. He missed attack on down air. GG's. Hyper looking real strong right now. Hard to imagine that he not like he and Junebug had a close set in losers. Like it very well could have like I think it could have gone either way. So like it's interesting to see like how far he'll go having knocked out the number one seed from the tournament. Okay, and or uh, Lordy rather wise to uh, Hyper Flames down there. there. A little slow on the up tilt. No punish for the whiff tether grab. Yep, another one. Wow. The pressure right now is so real. I think Lordy's not even sure when he can tag some of these hits. Oh, the reverse hit of F Smash. Wow. The four stock. That was absolute destruction. <laughs> that reverse hit of the F Smash. He's so good with that. This grab ledge. And of course Lordy's gonna DI it wrong. Like who who would expect to get hit by the reverse hit of forward smash? No one. That's something that like I think very few Lucas players really have in their arsenal. Like I, I have to imagine that was intentional too, um, given the way that he spaced it. I can see Bowser's Castle as a counter pick. I think he might. Maybe we take it back to PS2. I'm not really sure any of the stages benefit him more than that one does. Yeah, battle. Oh, Battlefield's good. I, should, I forgot about Battlefield. What? I, I think Ike makes definitely love triplats. All right, that's a great use of the counter. Um, really effective, I think, against the PK kids in general. Um, when they are forced to uh, use PK Thunder too. Nice DI to grab the ledge there from Hyper Flam. These platform tech chases are really real right now. Okay, just wave dash in F tilt. Very smart. Already trying to use his invincibility wisely. Yep, and that's me up. And he gets the full charge. So far, Lordy's done a great job of uh, shielding PK Freeze, but Hyper Flame still like coming in with uh, with really strong pressure and getting a lot out of it. Okay, the F2 will take it, and I'm about to be joined by my good friend and fellow Minnesotan, Karma. Hey, what's going on? What's up, Karma? Hey, do you want to, uh, so I know, I believe this is the second game, correct? Yes, it is. Do you want to give me a little bit of an update on the first game? Yo, first game was, ri Lordy got riggedy, riggedy wrecked, son. It was a four stock. Oh, my goodness. It was on PS2, and uh, Hyper Flame definitely converted uh, two magnet back airs for spike kills, a down air to up smash, 
and uh, reverse hit of F smash to edge guard. <laughs> oh my goodness! And the man. game, yeah. Hyperflame is just playing out of his mind today. He uh, eliminated Junebug today. Made Junebug get 20 Yep. I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it might be two. might be 17. I think, but regardless, much lower than we uh, we would have expected. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yes. oh man, he just had this, the strongest confirms from his pressure. Like he's really been doing a great job of like calling out where um, Lordy's trying to move, when he, whether he's jumping out of shield or rolling or wave dashing. I'm loving the way how he like weaves in and out of Lordy's uh, effective range with Magnus. Yeah, such a good tool. It's a good combo starter, good for pressure, and just a good neutral tool. Yep. It's overall this a very good. Move. Okay, so that, that was a good forward. Already angle. keeping it real close, though. Yeah, man, this is uh, definitely looking way different from the first game. Then they're all tied up. Two seconds. Okay, whip grab. Let's see the punish here. Okay. Man, the way Hyper is moving right now is so crisp. Oh, here we go. Nice tech chase. Already getting okay. something started though right now. All right. This is what he needs. All right, good forward air. Yep. Good retreat forward air. Let's see how he does with the edge guard here. Just reading there. Oh, he's a little too late. Yeah, this long. Hesitated on which option to use, I think. Oh, that nice jab, jab reset. reset. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, good wave dash wow. back to escape. Yeah, I was that would have been death, Hyper, man. Yeah. That would have been death. Okay, so the Typer takes the lead back. The Lordy kind of, I feel like he's kind of like struggling to like, like get in. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Luke is just having like such like. Uh, I think he's giving Hyper too much respect. Like yeah. in the first game, he got like really, he got beat really bad, but he's been keeping it much closer. But he's still letting Hyper kind of like get his game plan started with his crazy like aerial juggles. Yeah, that should be stuck. Okay, that's good. All right, only forty percent. Very very doable. He's uh. He's probably still with the crouch cancel percent, I'd say, on most of Lucas's moves. Yeah. Okay. That's like the first time he's landed a PK freeze, but it's maybe the most critical time, dude. Oh, this should be stocked. Yep. yep. That's, That's it. going to be the set. All right. 2-0.